Hey, Phil here. Thanks for watching Frets. It's been a while since I've made any kind of video, and honestly, it's because I haven't found much lately on Craigslist, but today was a pretty good day. I'll show you what I got. First of all, this is a first act ME301. It's your typical Walmart guitar. You know, it's it's your basic strat copy. It's got your three single coil pickups. It's got your uh, vintage style tremolo system with the six screws, five-way switch, and it's a pretty cheap guitar. I got it for $15. And the last one I had, I got for about $7 at a garage sale and was able to clean it up and I ended up selling it for a lot more than what I paid for it. I'm hoping I can flip this one too. Now the reason I got it so cheap is it doesn't produce any sound. Usually when a guitar doesn't produce sound, in my experience, is because a wire came loose inside either at the jack or the ground wire that connects to the claw in the back. Both of those are easy fixes if you know how to solder. The other problem with it, I'll let you see, it is grimy, grimy, dirty, dirty, dirty. So what I'm going to do is take it apart completely, clean it up inside and out, reattach the wiring. If it needs a new jack, I'll put a new jack on it, and then sell it hopefully for a profit, which shouldn't be too hard because I only paid $15 for it. So I get that home, and I'm looking at Craigslist again, and then I spotted this beauty. This is a Squire Stage Master. Now, I've admired these before, but I've never had one. And this is a basic Strat body, but it doesn't have the pit guard, so it has access panel for the electronics on the back. And it's a pretty nice looking guitar. It's kind of dirty, not quite as grimy as the other one, but it could definitely use a good cleaning. And this has the kind of bridge that you would it looks a lot like the one that was on my American Strat that I used to have the way that it has the two screws I kind of like that even though honestly I didn't use the tremolo I always I was uh, laying flat against the body but anyway it's got the sealed tuners and it's got a humbucker in the bridge position and it comes with this really fancy Richie Sambora type strap so if you want to get your Bon Jovi groove on I guess you could do that but anyway still trying to decide what I want to do with this it uh it's missing a knob and I think I have one of those in the basement and you can see that it's got a homemade jack plate here I'll probably end up replacing that but other than that it's complete and as far as I know it works if it doesn't they're easy enough to repair but the body's in pretty good shape. The paint's got a couple dings in it. I might keep it the way it is, might paint it, not sure. Who knows, I might not even have it for that long. But anyway, it's nice to be able to find deals again because lately Craigslist has just been so dried up and I don't know if it's a picture of the economy or what, but I think it just kind of comes and goes. I think there are waves when you can find a lot of good deals and then there are these dry spells. So hopefully this will be a sign of, hey, there's going to be more and more deals coming on and I can get back into buying these cheap guitars and fixing them up and selling them. Anyway, I'll keep you posted as to the progress on these. Oh, by the way, if you haven't gotten a chance, go ahead and take a look at my blog. I'll put the link just below. Um, I've actually got two blogs. One of them is called Frets, well, it, and the other one is Adventures in Middle Age. It's basically about stuff that's been happening to me since I've hit 40. So um, if you get a chance, check them out, leave a comment, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.